I'm Eugene McGann from FSA Consulting uh, based in Toowoomba. I'm the project leader of the, the Pork GHG uh, mitigation project as part of the NAMP program and it fits under the umbrella of the, the whole NAMP program which has been funded by essentially all the intensive livestock industries as well as the, the Commonwealth of Australia. The primary objectives of this project are to look at some possible greenhouse gas mitigation options for the pork industry and primarily ones that um, sectors of the industry that are, are unable to currently participate in the carbon farming initiative with can then do. So currently we have a carbon farming initiative methodology that's looking at uh, covering ponds which a lot of the big pork producers, so the bigger piggeries, are actually doing. It's generally the larger piggeries, so around that you know 600 to 1000 sows that it becomes um, profitable essentially has some economic payback to be involved in that. So we're looking at basically um, potential mitigation options for the sm smaller type piggeries, the um, small to medium sized piggeries, say the 100 to, to 600 sour type, type mark. So we're looking at a couple of options under that that they can look at mitigating their greenhouse gas. So the two uh, options we're looking at is taking what is uh, the way effluents traditionally captured and handled in uh, large anaerobic ponds where the, the effluent sits there for 100 or 200 or 300 days, what we call a, a long hydraulic retention time system or long HRT system. The, the mitigation option we're looking at is taking that effluent and capturing it and putting it in a tank so it's only held for a short period of time, so less than 30 days. So you're taking your effluent out, you're putting it in a tank and you're regularly using it, irrigating it out of that tank rather than storing it in a pond where it becomes anaerobic and produces lots of methane, which is a, a powerful greenhouse gas. And the second option we're looking at is deep litter piggery systems, which are, are not unfamiliar to the pig industry. They're used now where they're on straw or sawdust or some other um, deep litter system, and then taking that manure out and storing that um, in a stockpile or composting that. My name is Frances Phillips. I'm from the Centre for Atmospheric Chemistry at the University of Wollongong, and we're looking at greenhouse gas emissions from pork production. What we are doing is we're measuring the gaseous emissions from these systems. Eugene from FSA will come in and he will measure the solids that are produced from the animals. And in doing that, he'll measure the nitrogen and carbon load on the system. What we do is then relate our gaseous emissions to that nitrogen and carbon load. And that allows us then to go ahead and look at how can we possibly reduce those emissions by reducing those, those loads on the system. So what we've been able to show from this project, which is basically led on from the, the capture of uh, greenhouse gas from covered ponds and converting that to energy, we've got more of the pig industry has now been able to participate in the reduction of uh, greenhouse gas or potentially participate in that to lower their greenhouse gas emissions, um, produce a lower carbon footprint product and this, is, this will be beneficial to the overall environment. From the knowledge we've gained from this project, with, particularly with our short hydraulic retention time results to date, is that we've been able to show we can get reductions in greenhouse gas emissions in both winter, so when it's cool, and in summertime during warmer climates. So these results, although we've done the experiment at one particular site in southern Queensland, can be adapted to other parts of Australia. So this greenhouse gas mitigation option doesn't have to be used solely all, all year round as an option for a, a piggery operator. They may choose to run a long hydraulic retention time system for part of the year and then run their short hydraulic retention time system where they have to regularly irrigate out of that at a convenient time of the year. So in southern Australia where you have your um, wet winters and so forth when it's difficult to irrigate then that you may run a pond system at that period of time but in summertime when it's much drier you can revert to the short hydraulic retention time system and still be able to reduce your greenhouse gas emissions and potentially gain some carbon credits for that even if it's only for six months or eight months of the year.